Okay guys, I'm going to give you a quick review on how to tether your Fuji camera directly into Lightroom for free. And it starts by going to Fujifilm.com and downloading yourself Fujifilm X Acquire. Uh, I have a Mac, don't know what you have, but you have to download the correct version there. So just go here, then you scroll down, I agree, begin download and you can download him. Uh, after you download him, you follow these instructions, how to install. Um, basically what happens is you plug in your camera. So you'll plug in the USB-C into the USB of your computer. Uh, and what will happen when you do that is you'll see XAcquire pop up. Um, for example, I will plug him in right now. Okay, I have plugged in my camera, and now we will see. We have our X Acquire here, and there it is. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click Specify Destination Folder. You're going to click there. I made a folder called Tether just for the example. Um, this is the folder where your photos are going to go into, where, yes, so, I just made one called Tether, we're going to say, okay, do it there. Now, what you're going to do is head over to Lightroom, okay? Here you are in Lightroom. Now, the way to set up this tethering is you go to File, Auto Import, Auto Import Settings, and you're going to enable Auto Import, your watched folder, will become the one that you just made, okay? So I'm watching that tether folder, okay? Then, where do you wanna move it? So I'm moving it into my external hard drives where I keep my photographs. Um, this will be up to you. Um, subfolder name, up to you as well. File name, all these things, of course, you can change how you'd like. But once you set your watched folder and you set your move to folder, you're going to click OK. And again, you want to check auto import, that uh, enable auto import is there. And now basically what happens is I can take a photo with my camera and we wait a few seconds. Do do do, importing files, and there it is. There's the photo. So that's how easy it is. And I hope this helped you guys. Um, this is with Lightroom 6, but it should work for all of the versions of Lightroom. Okay, bye.